Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your October 23rd through October 29th weekly love reading. This is for the sign of Scorpio. I have pre-shuffled these cards, so if something wants to fall out, I'm just going to go with it. Um, this may or may not resonate, as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. And please remember that time is fluid, okay? So this could have already happened, or it may be happening this week, or it could be in your near future. Whoops. There's definitely going to be a shake-up of some sort. Something's crumbling down. Either it has or it hasn't. And when it does, it's going to be quite a shock. As you can see, I went like that. It's going to be quite a shock, okay? If it hasn't happened already. Oh my gosh. Things are flying. And I've done all of the readings. You guys are the last ones and um, for this segment. And I don't believe I've dropped one card in all of them. Things are happening. It's about time. Something is happening. Okay. That is for sure. You might have to make a decision this week, or you're contemplating a decision that you can't ignore anymore. Hmm. Wow. We have a lot of pentacles here, okay? So a lot of your focus is on um, finances, all right? So... You do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn pretty strongly, okay, in this reading. Um, and I think it, it has to do with stability and security and comfortableness and, um, you know, your home, okay. This week is around, um, it's, it's like a new opportunity for growth within a home or within a job. You could be receiving some money even. I know this is a love reading, but I have to tell you that you could be receiving some money from somebody or you could be receiving a raise or getting something new on a physical level that is valuable, okay? It just, I mean, that's pretty clear that something like that could happen to many of you. Um, and I, th it's, it is, I mean, that the money, maybe you've been expecting this money and finally it's coming, all right? Or you've been expecting this um, job um, offer or this uh, raise or something, okay? Or this gift of money. I don't know. There's money coming from somewhere, all right? So that should make many of you happy. Anyway, um, I feel like this is a love reading, so we're going to try to get back to that there's there's ignoring a situation okay ignoring something you were hoping for something and you've been waiting for something but it's something it's like you're still waiting for it okay you're still waiting for it and you're giving you're giving it your all you're really really focused on it but it looks like something is going to crash down and you will not be able to ignore it something is going to happen that is going to shake a foundation and you will not be able to ignore it. Could be at your work. It could be because we have all these pentacles, but it also could be in your home. Okay? So something there's going to be a shake up either at work or at home. So um and it it definitely it could involve a partner because this is you and this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So and this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn, so it could. This is this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and this shakeup right here, this big boom that's going to happen, that is going to come out of the blue, okay, is, is going to have to do with you and this person, okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all right, it's something that you can't ignore, all right, um, and this is like, this is some kind of deceit right here. I don't know what this is, but this is some kind of something going on behind the scenes. It's the Seven of Swords, okay? There's something in it. There's something going on behind the scenes. Could be at work, okay? I'm not sure what it is, but it, it could be um, with a partner, okay? It could be with a partner. All 
right? And this is saying you got a choice. Yeah, there's a choice here. Be careful what you choose. Be careful what you own because what you own owns you. That's what this card means. It means some and choose wisely, okay? Probably, you know, on one hand, you choose the love, which is the cups. And on the other hand, you choose the possessions, the comfortable home, the comfortable stuff inside the cups, you know, the the comfort more than love, okay, material comfort, all right, so what is it going to be, do you choose the love, or you choose the stability, security, the, the obsessions, the materialistic side, I mean, that's what the choice is, okay, there's a choice, this week, there's a choice of some sort that you cannot ignore, okay, and I have to show you what's at the bottom of the deck, it's the justice card, it's time to do the right thing for you, okay, it's about making a decision, and being honest and being true. Okay, so I'm just going to shuffle because I'm going to put lay out some more cards. There, it looks like there's a new beginning of some sort. There is a new beginning. It's like it's a it's a time of renewal. All right. Um, there could be a third party situation. All right. We also have, you know, we have a Leo here. We have a Taurus and a Leo here. We do. I mean, this, to me, represents Taurus and Leo. Okay. And, um, again, you know, other readers have other, whatever. I'm not them. And a lot of them agree that it's Taurus and Leo. Most of them do. But some, you say other signs. I don't. Um, anyway, I think that it's a time, it's a creative period, and I think you got things going on up there, trying to figure out what you're going to do next, and you got these visions, you know, of beauty, okay, of something beautiful, all right, and I think you're taking action this week, because you're looking for harmony, all right, you're looking for harmony, and I think something, um, your self-confidence is high, and um, there's room for growth, and you're just look, you're growing like it's a fertile time. It is, it's like a time of renewal. There's growth in something. You're taking action. Maybe you've grown in some way. Okay. Maybe you feel more stable and secure with yourself. Oh. It's a change of course. Time to be honest, even if it hurts. You know, it probably, it is going to hurt. It is going to hurt. But you're going to have to be honest, even if it hurts. Okay? You are. You know, this is what the Knight of Swords comes in, does what he needs to do, and gets the hell out. Okay? So, uh, there's something, and the tower is here. And I, with the justice that was at the bottom... There's something that needs to come out. Some truth needs to come out. And I don't know what it is. But the universe, which is the world card, but I consider this also the universe, the tower. The tower is uh, a divine help. <laughs> That's what it is. It's where there was a false foundation and the good Lord up above or your higher power, whoever it is that you honor, the universe is here to help you out and, and, and to help whoever else that is in the picture, okay? They're, they're to, they're, it's here to bring in the destiny, the karma, okay? Even if it hurts. And that is here in this reading for a reason. It means something is coming in that needs to break down for a reason, and they're gonna, they're, it just can't happen. It's not meant to be, so it's gonna, it's gonna break down. Something is going to break down because it's not meant to be. And you might be shocked, and you might be hurt. The other person might be hurt. I don't know. This is the cold, harsh truth, right here. It's also Libra, the sign of Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. All right. There's insecurities. Do you feel insecure in a, in a spot? Could be at work. There's an insecurity. 
you know, there definitely could be a third party situation. I don't know. I'm just saying. Maybe you have some competition. Yeah, that's what it's going to take. Fives are about life choices. Okay. All right. So fives are about life choices. It's time to make a choice. There's no doubt. Okay. There's some instability. I think that you're feeling unstable. All right. And you're going to take action based on your feelings of instability and insecurity. And that takes strength and confidence and willpower. Here we have a Leo and here we have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And here we have the three of wands. Here we have the, it's something new, something new. All right, you're, it's like a, a new beginning, okay? With this Ace of Pentacles, there's a new beginning. After some kind of um, conflicts or some kinds of, some kind of tension. Where somebody goes, somebody goes away, okay? Because it's like come and go. Do what you got to do and get the hell out. And I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Um, there's definitely a choice. And if it's not made this week, it's on your mind. Something that you can't ignore. The dog might start barking. Beware. She barks loud, and there could be a UPS guy here. No, Zoe. No. No, Zoe. Sorry about that. I had a interruption. Right now, I am shuffling from the Archangel Michael deck, and there is your card. I'm going to read that to you. Another one that fell on the floor. All right. I try to get it right. <laughs> prayer will help this situation. My prayer. Dear God and Archangel Michael, and anyone else to whom you pray, such as Jesus, I ask for your divine intervention. And then you describe the situation. I welcome your help, and I trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. I need a miracle and ask that you send one to me in this situation quickly. Thank you and amen. That's beautiful. I think that's perfect. I really do, because I think you might need it. That's why the strength and the confidence and the courage comes from. Something's going to get shake, shake up your life. That's, I mean, that's maybe not. This isn't for everybody. This is not for everybody. So I'm hoping and praying that that isn't true. Okay? Um, but it looks like there's going to be something that crumbles down. But it's a blessing in disguise. All right? Um, yeah, so that's what I have. I wish you the best, um, and I will talk to you later.